I was born in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Mostly I was there for about 18 years. So in 1978, after I had a fight with my dad, I went to America, ended up staying, met a gorgeous girl from Louisiana, ended up marrying her, staying there. And uh, that's the beginning of American life. I had uh, four restaurants in, in, in three states. In neighboring states, maybe just like a circle, and it takes about 200 mile circle. To visit every restaurant, I had to drive myself. I, mean, I used to take a lot of candy while driving, so that way I can, the sugar rush, you know. And that's what got me to this point, I think. Would you believe my waist size used to be 28, and it became 32, and it became 36, it became 38, 40, 45, and now I don't believe what it was later on. Like 66 or 68, something like that. It was uh, the restrooms. Uh, people looking at you kind of funny. Because uh, all my life people admired me, you know. Any suit he buys, it fits in. I never had to cut a suit on my own. Because whatever I bought in my size, it was always fit me, right to the tilt. Plus, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard. I cannot go without my car anywhere. I have to see if I, my car goes in that, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to go. If it's too much to walk, I cannot walk too far because I get out of breath. And, uh, my back almost kills me in a sense, you know, my knee kind of gives away. So kind of gradually, gradually I decided, you know, it's time. I need to do this. And it's slick again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we flew in on the 7th and then had the surgery on the 9th. When uh, Mr. David came to the hospital, he was put uh, on with the counselor. Our counselor explained them about the procedure, about the disease and the associated problems, what pre-operative preparations will be done, how the operations will happen, what will happen to them after operation. For example, they will be walking on the same day of after the operation uh, in the hospital. Also what supplements need to be taken. So all these things are explained to them well in advance so that they are actually aware uh, of the journey uh, before and after the operation. Every person that I dealt with at Max was really, really nice. Uh, so everybody that is I have so far, even the orderlies and everybody here is awesome. Great, great people. And like Dr. Choga, the way he did my surgery, you know, I think it's very heartfelt. Plus every nurse, every person that actually helped you, uh, they care about you. You are not just a number. You are not just a ticket. You know, you're not just a big person, you're a human being. That's what you get at Max, and I, I really like that. At Max uh, Institute of Minimal Access Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery, which is the dedicated institute for bariatric and metabolic surgery, it, and also happens to be the first world center of excellence in Asia Pacific region. That gives us a, a great edge because of its excellence in terms of equipment and uh, gadgets which are available, the cutting edge technology which is available, and very specialized uh, uh, instrumentations and uh, specialized anesthetist, specialized nursing which is available. So this makes the combination a formidable combination, and it is it has got a very high volume of surgeries which we do uh, every day and every month and every year. This makes the center one of the best center. Uh, acclaimed uh, across the globe. I can already feel it. I mean, I'm nest, uh, what, 11 days now? I think almost, almost 10 kilos have been lost. I mean, it's drastic, it's awesome. It's almost awesome feeling. I mean, it's great to be uh, seeing something that you see is coming. You know it's coming, and I know it's coming. I can be presentable and be myself. <laughs>